Hello everybody, Lancer for Life here with uh, my buddy here, Blade of Chaos. Uh, I don't know if I can really call you my buddy because I just met you. But uh, Blade of Chaos is a new YouTuber, uh, very new actually. I looked at your channel, you have what, 16, 17 subscribers? Actually, I got to almost 30 now. Oh, um, holy crap, dude, that was fast. It, it, I, it, I, I doubled, wish... it doubled overnight. It, it... <laughs> I wish I had that. Uh, subscriber growth uh, back when I first started. My subscribers were like only one or two like a week <laughs> when I first started. Uh, well, it's the same was with me. Like I, I've been posting like videos. It's, 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 it's like this. Um, you, you know, you you start at first. You like motivated. Maybe if I do something, you know, your mindset is like maybe if I do something different than the masses would, maybe my channel will grow faster than theirs. But then you start to see that people don't actually recognize your work and it's just and you you stop like you lose motivation which which basically happened to me and I stopped recording uh, you know stopped posting videos like for a year almost and then I just came back out of nowhere you know I was like yeah, I gotta give this like one more try since I never actually left you know playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I still remained a loyal fan I guess you could say and I just didn't you know, have the that same passion I had back then, you know, for posting videos, but now that I see my channel actually got some sort of growth and, you know, it, it kind of just makes me want to cry uh, <laughs> uh, happiness. You know what makes me want to cry? I don't know if you what? saw it, but somebody reported my video. <laughs> Why? I took it down. I guess, uh, according to this dude who... Okay, so this is completely off topic, but this is like a podcast kind of thing. So if you're watching this, tab out and listen to it and, uh, I don't know, play RuneScape or something. But uh, somebody went and filed a false flag on my Dark, uh, my Destiny and Dragoon Turbo deck profile that I uploaded yesterday and reported it for violating community guidelines. And YouTube agreed that it, that it violated community guidelines and took it down. Well, that doesn't make any sense, like whatsoever. Is it? How? Like, like you know, you got like I don't know if you're into the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, but yeah, uh, I I know I am. It's like you got like like legitimate full-length Yu-Gi-Oh GX duels. Like you, you got the one where uh, Crowler and Bonaparte are dueling Pegasus. You know the, the yeah, like, uh, triangle duel. Like like it's the full legit duel and and. The guy that posted the video is running like advertisements on it, and that he made. Might be Konami running the advertisements. They can, uh, if. It's... Okay, here's a little bit of thing about copyright, guys. For those who don't know, uh, if you upload a video of, like, let's say, a game or an anime or something, and the original creator see that, and they, uh, and they are, uh, they don't mind the video being on there, but they don't like you making money off of it, they can. Uh, file a thing to YouTube saying, hey, if you don't like this guy making money on it, put our ads on it, and then we get money instead. And so they let you keep the video, they let your channel grow, but they get the money, not you. Oh, so the, so the video stays, but yeah. it, it, it's, still, it's still like your thing, but they're making money off of it. That's how it works. Yeah. Konami doesn't really uh, care too much if like people post just the standard duels or like somebody summoning a monster. Uh, like, I know there's a bunch of videos of you say something shooting Quasar on YouTube, but uh, they only really get angry whenever people post full length episodes. Uh, I remember uh, YYC, uh, your Yu Gi Oh! channel. I don't know if you uh, have ever seen his videos. He's kind of sort of. I have, I have. Uh, he, back when Zexel started airing, he would record the full episode and put it on YouTube, and he got away with it for about a week or two, and then uh, he then. Uh, Konami started going after him. <laughs> Anyways, we are getting we are completely off topic, and we haven't even fully <laughs> just started the video. So, the, this video is all about uh, YGO Pro doing network and Dev Pro to some extent, but Dev Pro hasn't been taken down yet. <laughs> so, I was playing Dev Pro last night. That that's the the whole irony of this situation. Like it's working perfectly. It's yeah. YGO Pro just got updated with all the new cards yesterday. Uh, Sub-Terror cards were added, or, sorry, it wasn't yesterday, it was a few days ago, but the Sub-Terror cards were added, the cards for revealed for, uh, in a, for uh, Invasion of Venom were added, and a whole bunch of other stuff was added. 
Uh, so. yeah, I, I saw it though, like, I, and I was like, I at, at first I thought they, the creators, because they weren't actually making any money off of mm -hmm. YGO Pro in the first place, and it's a completely open source, like, free project. Um, I, at first I thought they were gonna just, like, stop giving a fuck, and they wouldn't basically upload it, uh, update it, but... At first well, it's kind of... At, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but at first it kind of seemed like that because there was a good solid, I would say, half a week before they actually updated again, and there was a whole bunch of cards revealed. Because uh, normally YJ Pro gets a gets the update out like the same day or the day after uh, for you know like new cards and stuff. Well, yeah, that, that's that's the, like, uh, but. I, I, at first, I was like, "No, there, there's no way they're going to like keep updating. There, there, there's no way." Like, first I thought, "Like, it's doomed." Like, I, I, I made a video. I made a video. Like, as soon as I saw the same exact day that I saw like a dueling network getting down, I posted a video like, "Rest in peace, dueling network," which basically is uh, up up until this point, it, it's dead. There's no way like Dan's going to come back. Except uh, maybe somebody. Uh, kind of, uh, I don't know if this is even possible, but maybe somebody can upload the Dueling Network site on their separate servers. They tried that, remember, and it was taken down after uh, about a day or so. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> there. It means it means that NAS is basically determined to take down everything that has any connection to like. But but the thing is, like, we need those types of dueling simulators for for us to keep the game alive. That, yeah. That's the point. Uh, you know, just uh, earlier today, Galactic God uploaded a video talking about this kind of stuff, and he was like, back in the day before we had these dueling simulators, uh, if you wanted to play test a deck that you aren't sure if you want to invest money into yet, you'd have to proxy, or you'd have to uh, like do other things and stuff. And it was just really hard for people to, you know, do that, you know, to really be able to get a feel for a deck and everything. Well, and, I, I remember, I remember the, I don't know if it's called that way, but the KCYDC, um, the Kyber, Kyber Corporation Virtual Dueling System. Oh, yeah, that. That, that one, that one was, like, uh, such, I don't know, how, what, a, what was that? Like, you, you had to basically... Uh, is it like giving the IP or uh, I don't know how it was played? You, you had to make a Hamachi network or something like that, you know, oh, to, to connect uh, with somebody. But then when DN came, it was like uh, an hour of relief because like it, it it was great. It was flawless back then. It, it was like so, I I remember uh, like I started playing DN six days after it was launched, mm -hmm. you know, to to the public, and, and it was amazing. Yeah, and when YGO Pro came, it was like mind blowing that we had an automated system. Kind of like the games and stuff. Boy. That's one of the reasons why I like YGO Pro so much, because it's kind of like I'm playing one of the video games. And don't get me wrong, Konami has made some really good Yu Gi Oh video games. Uh, all the Tag Force games are a lot of fun. Uh, Duel of the Roses, even though it doesn't play like Yu Gi Oh, is a lot of fun. Heck, my childhood was spent a lot of time playing Duel of the Roses. Uh, and there's a few other games that I know a lot of people like. Uh, I know there's like a Yu-Gi-Oh RPG kind of game where like uh, the monsters all have like names and stuff. And I, I don't know what it's called, but it was like GameCube exclusive, so I never got to play it. <laughs> uh, so Konami knows how to make good Yu-Gi-Oh games, but the issue with Konami and their online simulators is that they no longer have interest in making a good Yu-Gi-Oh game. They want to make money. Uh, the most recent online simulator that they made, uh, with all the you know like chibi stuff and the artwork of all the monsters, and uh, I actually really like the chibi artwork. That was really kind of cool and cute and stuff. But uh, I, I played the beta, and the game was better in the beta because wait times were shorter. You actually made enough money doling to be able to get packs and stuff. But whenever it exited out of the beta. The wait times were way too long. Like the whole waiting mechanic, where you could only duel five times and like for every hour or so, and it wasn't like, oh hey, you you duel five times, you wait an hour. Oh hey, you can duel five times again. No, it was, uh, you wait an hour, you could duel one more time. So if you wanted to duel five times again, one back to back, you had to wait five hours 
or unless you want to pay money, which is so stupid. People want to be able to playtest, and it's very hard to playtest when you're limited to five duels within a few minutes. And duels, you know, can last anywhere from a few minutes to... Heck, I've had a duel that lasted two and a half hours. Uh, that was a terrible, terrible mirror match between Noble Knights. <laughs> <laughs> don't well, ever, don't ever do a mirror match between noble knights. Uh, the is it duel arena? What yeah, was that's it? what it's called. I couldn't remember. That's what it's called. And duel arena. It was so bad. Like the UI was terrible too. It was, it was like no way. Why was it even like the whole? It, it, you had a friends limit. Like oh my god! Don't remind that, me on that. <laughs> It was like no way. Like, are they actually like? I remember, you know, playing. Uh, was it like Yu-Gi-Oh Online, the Dual Accelerator? You know, around the Five Ds era. That, that's when the Konami released their official Yu-Gi-Oh Online game. Didn't it have a monthly subscription fee or something? Uh, no, no, no. It was free. You you could make in-game purchases because you had like a starter deck and you, you know you you had to like pay real money either real money or in-game money to buy packs and then like build your deck from that but it, it got cancelled like soon and, and you know I don't remember the Yu-Gi-Oh! Online 2 because I didn't actually get the chance to play it you know when I when I found out about Yu-Gi-Oh! Online it was already Yu-Gi-Oh! Online 3 yeah. and the third one was the last one, so... Yeah, I know that one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, online games, I don't know which one it is, it was one of the official servers that Konami had, well, official online games that they had, had a subscription fee. I think it was something like $15 a month, and it had next to no players on it, uh, and stuff like that. Now, the rumor is, is that Konami is currently making two games. Well, actually, no, we know about one of them, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! Psycho Card Battle or stuff like that. Uh, I saw it the other day, and it, 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 it's not promising. It's the, it's the literal it's, only good thing I like about that game is the animations for the monsters. It looks so cool. Like whenever you summon alligator swordsman, he'll do a, like a flying jump, and he'll like hold a sword in a cool style. And whenever he attacks, he like looks like he's actually like it. It just looks really cool. The animations look good, but treating it like a DT where you only got 20 cards in your deck, you got three monster zones, three spell trap zones. And that's it? That is so stupid. We want a full, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh thing. And I don't know why we can't just have another Tag Force game. <laughs> yeah, or maybe maybe do it like a Tag Force game, which could be played online, you know, with other people. But you had like uh, an NPC sort of characters. Oh, God, I would love for an online Tag Force game, okay? I have put way too many hours in onto Tag Force 5. And that game is so fun. Now, I do know that there is another Tag Force game that came out in Japan kind of recently. I think it was last year or the year before. Tag Force was, Special, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I played it a bit with the English patch and stuff like that. It's it's okay. It's not... I, I, it, I've heard it's not as good as Tag Force 5. Um, and I think that it really shows Konami and everything. Because... Like, or at least their state of mind, because Konami used to be able to make really good Yu-Gi-Oh! games. I mean, heck, we already talked about them. All the Attack Force games up to Attack Force 5 were really good. Uh, Duels of Roses was really good. They had a whole bunch of other really good games. Uh, Dark Duel Stories was kind of meh. I have it. It's okay. And really, the only reason why people bought it was to get the DDS Blue Eyes. <laughs> um, which apparently was stupidly hard to get. Uh, but if Konami were to take Tag Force 5 as a basis, okay? Make it to where you can design your own in-game character, meet the other characters of the anime and stuff, and play with online uh, people, and that, oh, hey, you earn money from dueling, and you can just go to a little card shop, buy packs that are, like, you know, like, attribute or, or uh, type-specific, you know? Because that's what Tag Force 5 did, was where, oh, hey, this pack has all wind monsters, this pack has all fire monsters, this pack has all normal monsters, this pack has all synchro monsters, and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. But I just don't trust Konami making any good Yu-Gi-Oh! games anymore. <laughs> well, they, I, I don't know where the, where the interest has gone. Like, they, they've been making good... <laughs> They've been making good Yu-Gi-Oh games, and then uh, you know, up at some point, they were like, "No, we're just, we're we're 
far too good for this. We're, we're never going to make a good Yu-Gi-Oh game again. And they just kind of stopped. But somebody said, in you know, commented on my one of my last videos, I did a podcast with Dylan from Clueless Gamers, and somebody actually commented saying, the only reason they're shutting down DN and YGO Pro is because they are making a new, like, like Konami is releasing a new Yu-Gi-Oh game in, you know, early 2017 now. Yeah. I, I saw the uh, rumor, the rumor is, is that it'll be a cross between dual generations, or I believe that's what it's called. Uh, dual generations is an iPod or an Android game, uh, sorry, iPhone, you know, iOS, Android game. Uh, and actually, it's because of dual generations that the YGO Pro uh, Android and uh, I think it was on I iOS. I don't know if it was or not, but uh, YGO Pro had an Android and iOS uh, application. And then uh, Konami came in and was like, hey, take this down off of uh, the Google Store. They had to, and then Dual Generations was put up on it. Dual Generations is not a good game. I have played it. I don't recommend it. Uh, the actual pacing of the duels are way too slow. It takes forever to do stuff. Uh, you get, like, this stupid little bot companion and stuff. It takes forever to unlock cards. They encourage you to pay money for it, which... You know, nobody wants to do. I mean, really, honestly, the only reason why, the only acceptable monetization that uh, Konami can do at this point is either an upfront purchase of like 20 or $30, you get all the cards right up front, or free to play, but make it to where like any monetization and stuff is for like, you know, completely and totally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, appearances, you know, like uh, yeah. avatar stuff, you know, backgrounds, stuff like that, or like, heck, make it to where, like, your, like, your in-game avatar sounds like yu Yi or something, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Everybody would do that. Uh, and the rumor is, is that Dual Generations and the DT are going to be used as the basis for the new online game, and that it's going to be kind of like a mix between both. And the only good thing that can come out of this is like the animations for the for the monsters. Like unless Konami is smart about it, but uh, I somehow doubt that. <laughs> same, same. I, I don't know. It uh, like if they come up with a decent Yu-Gi-Oh game, which could uh, counter like YGO Pro and Dueling Network. Like maybe if if they if they release the game that is a mixture of YGO Pro and DN, you know, it being online, but automated you know without downloading it that would be kind of cool but still I don't know why they didn't just buy the end I mean like they really could have just bought the end well yeah that's the that's the solution to like I, I was thinking to it the other day like like why couldn't Konami just you know contact like Luster Soldier and or Nihon Ad Systems I, I don't know some some people say that Konami is actually in charge of this whole DN takedown yeah. operation NAS but, could not do this without authorization from Konami. Yes, they do own the uh, right to use the artwork over here. Uh, and notice how I said right, okay? Because technically speaking, Kazuki Takahashi owns the artwork for every single Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, but however, he leases he licenses the rights to Konami and NAS to distribute the uh, cards and everything out and about and everything. So technically speaking, Kazuki Takahashi owns the artwork. But NAS and Konami just kind of act on his behalf. So NAS, they have to get authorization from Konami. And really, Konami doesn't have to do anything about like Ta Takahashi. Because while he does own the artwork for the cards, he I, didn't he also make the manga? I can't remember. Uh, well, I, I, I believe he did. I believe yeah, he did. Yeah, I believe he did too. Uh, just can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah. So, NAS has to get permission from Konami to do this stuff, because Konami uh, basically is the majority, they're, they're the bosses of NAS. NAS is just acting on their behalf. <clears throat> so, somebody... I, I don't know, like, what kind of good can come out of this. Like, like they are destroying their own game by doing this. I... I don't know. It, it just it just seems like they're, they're trying to sabotage themselves uh, because the new the new online Yu-Gi-Oh game that they're announcing isn't gonna be good. See, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. I don't think that the death 
of these online simulators would bring about the death of Yu-Gi-Oh, like a lot, a lot of people are saying. Yu-Gi-Oh was doing just fine prior to these, but the biggest issue that the death of all the online simulators brings is there are a lot of people, especially in countries that are not named America, <laughs> uh, that have a tough time playing Yu-Gi-Oh in real life. Uh, in most European countries, there are no card stores. You go to like uh, like a coffee shop and play with your friends or something. Uh, you there are no places where you can just go and hey, I want to buy a couple boxes of of uh, the newest set of Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's all that the that's all that the store does. Over here in Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, over here in Yu-Gi-Oh, over here in America, uh, we have a bunch of locals. Heck, in my area alone, there's three or four locals. Granted, I usually only go to one or two, but there's a bunch of them. So I have a bunch of different options to go and meet other Yu-Gi-Oh players to duel and to trade and, uh, you know, play Yu-Gi-Oh. But there's a lot of countries where that's just not possible. So these online duel simulators and the video games that Konami has made are their only ways of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And so by getting rid of these, Konami is really, really hurting a pretty decent chunk of their fan base. So... So, see, the thing is, the thing is, like I, uh, when I speak for myself, like I live in Europe, so I, in my town in particular, I don't have like any. Uh, we had, we used to have before, but now we don't even have one single local. You know, we, we don't have locals, and the the thing is, like I I can always like run down like uh, the uh, best local is like in a village that is outside of town. But it's like a two-hour drive, which is yeah. basically not, not not a viable place to go like every weekend because it will, it will be like such a financial like, and a time hassle by, by itself. Yeah, and I've heard all sorts of horror stories about people having to drive like four or five hours just simply to go to locals once every other week or so. Like, it's just crazy. Uh. I, I depend on online, online Yu-Gi-Oh simulators, which is why... I'm counting on Konami to make a decent online game, or uh, like I, I can just continue playing Death Row because I already have it on my computer and there's not a damn thing NAS can do about it, you know, unless they hire the local policemen to come to like somebody's houses and check if they have YGO Pro on their PCs and then. Uh, I can just imagine that somebody busting down the door, man. Like, do you have watch your pro? And well, yeah, that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. I I highly doubt that that's what they're going to do, but it it still is possible. We, yeah. We, yeah. If, if if that were to happen, we'd have to like hide watch your pro's files amongst like I don't know uh, where you hide all your uh, stash of. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a few other things I want to touch on. They haven't gone on Dev. They haven't gone after Dev Pro yet. Like Dev Pro is still up. I actually went onto their site, which a day surprisingly uh, rechanged around like the uh, format of their site and stuff, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know. It's confusing as heck. <laughs> uh, but they haven't gone after Dev Pro at all. And they, uh, to my knowledge, have not gone after YGO Pro Salvation. Uh, so I, I don't know what's up with that. Like, was DN and YGO Pro that important to them or something? Like, what? Maybe, maybe, maybe Death Pro is an entirely different like company or well, you know, the developers are. Well, maybe that, maybe that's the case. Like, they uh, maybe are in a deal with NAS, and that's why <laughs> NAS isn't bothering them. I saw a conspiracy theory on one of uh, Make a Capital G's videos on on a comment, uh, and somebody was like, "Maybe it's Dev Pro doing this, just posing as NES, and just so that they can drive up people." Uh, well, <laughs> makes a lot enough, of sense. After a DN went down, Dev Pro, uh, you, know, you know how like Dev Pro has like a little like message board in the bottom left where they put messages yeah. and stuff. Yeah, they they had a message that said, "We welcome all of our DN friends," and it says, uh, "One of us." One of us. One of us. <laughs> Kill me. Uh. But but I I am still like confused. What is 
Why Geo Pro Salvation? What oh. is that thing? Like Why Geo Pro Salvation is uh, another. It's kind of like Why Geo Pro, but it's made differently. It's done a whole bunch of differently. I think YGO Hack runs it. I'm not entirely sure, because he links it to all of his... I, I don't know. I mean, I just remember he was the first one to start talking about it. Uh, or at least the first one that I saw. Honestly, I don't like YGO Pro Salvation too much, because it's just... First and foremost, for me, the UI, like, you know, the actual application, lags all the time. And whenever I actually do get into a duel, it's buggy, and I, I have so much trouble with it. But I, you know, you had like, like um, I don't know, there's so many clones of YGO Pro. There are a ton. Like, there's a whole bunch that nobody even knows about. I saw one called, like, uh, Geo, uh, sorry, uh, what was it called? GYO Pro or something like that? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one called, like, Gary's Pro. Kind of making fun of, like, Gary's Mile and stuff. Uh, I saw one that is just exclusively about anime duels and reenacting duels from the anime. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but it was really stupid. <laughs> but since it's a open source program, anybody can actually grab the source and yeah. reprogram it as much as they like because, like, maybe we could do some sort of thing, like, where only Yugi tubers can join in and basically... Yeah, right, I think we could. Uh, like, that would be awfully mean to everybody else in Yugi. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and also, I don't know a lick about uh, friggin' programming, so... <laughs> well, it, it, it can't be that hard, because if, if that many people can make their own, like, YGO Pro clients, mm -hmm. and any old master can do it. <laughs> yeah, and I also know that there's, like, a way to add in custom cards and stuff. I've seen people create whole, like, archetypes and stuff and put them on YGO Pro just simply to play against the AI or their friends. Uh and stuff like that. Oh, I, I actually didn't know about it. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to do. Basically, you have to know how to script a card, you have to be able to test it, and do a whole bunch of stuff. And then the only way you can use those cards against a, another actual player is if they have the cards on their YGO Pro as well. So if you do that, you want to play against a friend with them, you gotta send the files to them like via Skype or something, or uh, and then like be able to play them and stuff. I saw somebody uh, play. I, I saw somebody like make a fusion with blue eyes and red eyes and stuff, and it was really cool. Uh, but a lot of people get a little carried away with their <laughs> with their archetypes. Uh, I saw one. It was basically just stupid broken dot deck. Um, so yeah. Well, yeah, that that's like it, it's great. Like you know, I highly doubt that NAS knows about all of these. Like YGO Pro clones. Oh yeah. That's why there, there's there's like there's gonna be there's always gonna be that one one YGO Pro clone that never goes away yeah. because like there's so many like unless they're like day and night like like just sniping all of these different YGO Pro clones or clone clients and I don't know how to actually call them but I highly doubt that's what NAS is doing. Yeah. Uh, I saw another theory that said that uh, it might be Kazuki Takahashi doing this. Uh, this was also on Mega Capital G's video. I can't remember which one. Uh, where somebody was like, hey, uh, I heard that Kazuki Takahashi really doesn't like all these different things because they're infringing on his artwork copyright and stuff. So he might have had an NAS go after it. And I don't believe that. From what, everything I've ever heard about Kazuki Takahashi is that he's a great guy, he's a nice guy, and that he's generally welcoming of people uh, making their own Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff like that. So I don't think it's Takahashi going after uh, all these play all these like simulators and stuff. But but how how is you know playing a game online? How is that infringing infringing to anybody? Well, uh, Konami could make the argument that it uh, takes away sales from their game, for one thing, uh, and that would be infringing on their copyright. And they wouldn't be wrong. There's a lot of people who don't play Yu-Gi-Oh and just play. Sorry, well they do play Yu-Gi-Oh, but they don't buy the cards. They just play online, and they don't really care about supporting the game or anything. They just play online. They don't go to tournaments, they don't uh, buy packs, they don't build a deck in real life. All they do is play the game online. And 
theoretically, that is technically stealing money from Konami. Because that could, because if it wasn't for that, that person would have to go and buy the cards, go to tournaments, support the game and stuff. And that does actually infringe copyright. That's one of the, that's one of the uh, things that you can get uh, copyrighted for uh, on YouTube, is if you are taking money away from the original source. Uh, that's the main argument for why TV shows, movies, and anime that are uploaded on YouTube get taken down because people who are watching it on there uh, on YouTube uh, YouTube's getting the money from the ad revenue and so is the person who posted it but the original creator gets nothing so theoretically it is infringing copyright if you're going by YouTube's rules but it's it's like no anybody like even though if uh, like, like there's a whole bunch of like other like different Yugi tubers that have been, I guess you could say, put out of business because of the death of those online simulators. And where do they go from there? B because like th their only job is like promoting the game. Yeah. So and it, it, it's I I just don't know. And I mean, uh, as I said in my RP or sorry, what was it? Uh, I think it was my. Uh, thoughts on YGO Pro uh, going down video that I uploaded. Uh, I even said that, hey, most of my content is uh, y is on YGO Pro or Dev Pro and stuff because uh, I don't have the time to be able to get a bunch of my friends to sit down, duel me <laughs> in real life. Uh, heck, most of my friends don't like being on camera, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and that just doesn't work. I don't, I, I got a job. I don't, I'm not able to go up on Saturdays anymore. Uh, so, and that's like where most people are, uh, most people at my locals go on Saturday. Uh, yeah, there's a few people on Tuesdays, uh, but there's not as many as there are on Saturdays and stuff. So I don't get as much dueling in. I don't get, uh, the, the tournaments are a lot smaller, about half the size that they are on Saturday and stuff like that. So most of my content, uh, or least, uh, yeah, most of my content is from YGO Pro. I make my uh, dual compilations from YGO Pro. I make my Blast from the Past from YGO Pro. I make my anime deck, deck discussions from YGO Pro. Now, theoretically, I could just move uh, the deck discussions and Blast from the Past to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia by just having a crap ton of tabs open, which, dear God. <laughs> um, and I, I got a few other... Uh, video series that I plan on introducing in the coming weeks and stuff uh, that are going to rely heavily on YGO Pro. So if YGO Pro goes, a lot of my content's going to go, and most of my content's going to go back to being deck profiles. Uh, about a year ago, almost all of my content was deck profiles, and then I started introducing other series and stuff, and people really liked that. You know, variety is a spice of life. But, yeah, I see your point. I definitely do. It's it's like uh, I don't know. Are we just gonna m move on to like the YVD? It, maybe if if it goes like if it goes like this way, we're we're gonna go back to the YVD. Like definitely. Yeah, like we're gonna be forced into whatever terrible contraption Konami is making. <laughs> Either that or the YVD. It's like the Yu-Gi-Oh virtual desktop. It's the the fucking. M mother, m mother simulator, I guess you could say. Um, you, you know, know what? I, I would just say screw it and go back to playing Duel Sword of Roses. <laughs> 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 I've actually been playing it a lot lately because I got like this HDMI converter. Uh, sorry, not HDMI. HD, yeah, HDMI. Sorry, uh, converter for my PS2, so now I can actually see my PS2 on my HD TV, and it's awesome. Oh. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm gonna go back and like play the old Attack Force games, like starting from Evolution uh, all the way down to the end because oh, <laughs> I remember Evolution being like the first Attack Force game I've ever played, and you know the first one basically, and it was fucking awesome. It was great, like like you know the, the whole experience because I I I still love to this day like the the Yu-Gi-Oh GX anime. And you know it it was awesome. Like when Tag Force Five came out, I wasn't too thrilled, but it was still good. And I never, n I never, I played them all, 
I even played the new like Tag Force Special, which is basically Arc 5. And I've never come to the conclusion and s said like, hey, this game is bad. You know, I, I, I gotta say, I love Tag Force 5. I would love to get some of the older ones, because I'm a big fan of GX. I, I know GX, a lot of people hate for some reason, mostly because it's a completely different tone for most of the series, from the original series. Because uh, for some reason, people want dark, edgy uh, <laughs> children's cartoons. Uh, but uh, Tag Force 5, I really feel like, is the best Yu-Gi-Oh! game that plays like a Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, that plays like the actual game and stuff. Or at least the Tag Force series in general. The only reason why I say Tag Force 5 is the best one because it's the most recent one, you know. Uh, or at least the most recent one that we've gotten outside of Japan. <laughs> uh, and it's a fun game. My only real gripe is that Konami likes to put half effort into their uh, English releases of their games. Like, for instance, uh, Tag Force 5 in the Japanese release was fully voice acted by the voice actors from the, from the anime. Over here, we did not get any voice acting, not even an option for the Japanese voice acting. Well, uh, yeah, we didn't get any voice acting, that, that stuff, yeah. 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 And then whenever we got uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal World Carnival, or whatever it's called, uh, the most recent Yu-Gi-Oh! game, no, second most recent Yu-Gi-Oh! game, because the game on PS4 and Xbox One came out afterwards. Uh, I believe it was called Zexal World Carnival. Uh, they cut out like 75% of the content. From the Japanese version, they cut out a lot of the characters. They cut out a lot of the uh, uh, decks that you could play from those characters. They cut out online multiplayer. They cut out a good chunk of the story, and they just released it digital only over here uh, in uh, in America, and then Europe got it as a physical and digital uh, release. But uh, for some reason, I don't know why only, but like the physical release was super limited and everything. And so the cards that came with it, which was the train cards that we still haven't gotten over here yet, and hasn't gotten a super massive release over in Europe, are like 40, 50 euro. I looked on, on the European eBay, they're ridiculously expensive. And so Konami, I really feel like that they just, I, I feel like it's a really good thing that they stopped making games after uh, MGS5 because they don't know how to make games. And heck, uh, Konami even went and said, that they no longer make games. Any game that uses their brand and stuff is being made by another company that they have officially licensed and are overseeing. That's that's definitely the case. Yeah. Like I'm completely with you on this one. And I don't know, like what is Konami's plan except for making like the new YGO game, which will basically be trash. We we, we I'm not assuming this. I know this. It, it it's gonna be. It's gonna be awful. Like, yeah, like, I know Psycho Card Battle, I don't know when we're getting it or anything, but like, the literal only positives I have about that game from what I've seen of the gameplay is the animations for the uh, monsters and the fact that we get to see Tour Guide from the, from the Underworld as an actual character and she like talks and stuff and is actually kind of adorable. Uh, <laughs> uh, but aside from that, Psycho Card Battle looks terrible. It's a 3DS game. Uh, and it doesn't play, like, I mean, they try to play like a Yu-Gi-Oh game, like, you know, actual Yu-Gi-Oh, but the limiting of half a deck, so 20 cards, and three monsters, three spell and traps card summons, that is so incredibly stupid. I mean, how, how are people going to build their favorite, like, combo decks, like Quasar, or stuff like that? It's, you need three monsters to make Quasar, and in order to do that, you're going to need, uh, at five monster zones, you know? But you can't do that, so Quasar is not going to be able to be summoned in the game unless it changes its uh, summoning like uh, requirements. And it just looks like a terrible game. We still don't know anything about their next online game, other than that it's supposed to be a cross between Dual Generations and the Dual Terminal, which has me fearing that it's going to be another three-card uh, monster zone and three-card spell zone. So... Konami really needs to get their act together. I mean, now if it's a, now if it's like a online DT, but with like full Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, like how Yu-Gi-Oh is actually meant to be played. You know, five monster zones, five spell and trap card zones. You know, like imagine Tag Force, but like with full-on DT stuff. I don't know if you've ever played the Dual Terminal. 
I, I, the dual terminal, I believe I did. I, yeah, once. Like, if they could do it like that with, like, full, really cool animations for the monsters and everything, online play, free, for the most part, with, like, some monetization for customizing your character and stuff, and a whole bunch of other stuff, Konami, I mean, like, seriously, I'm not a game dev, and I'm coming up with better ideas than what the game devs at Konami have come up with. Uh, but it's, it's like, I don't know, was there, <coughs> uh, wasn't there like an uh, entirely different, like, what was it called? Um, I believe Duel Links. Oh, game. God, the, God. the new game, I, it's relatively new, I don't know if it's actually that new, uh, but it's, it's like, you only have like three monster card zones, four cards in your hand, at max, and... So twenty card deck, which which. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think like, that might be a psycho card battle. Uh, it, it is psycho card battle, but it's predecessor. You know, oh. psycho card battle is based off of Duel Links, and Duel Links is terrible. Like, uh, uh, yeah, the the animation is okay, the voice acting is fine because you know the original cast is there, of the voice actors, but that's the only good thing I see about that game. Like, uh, like, imagine Psycho Card Battle without so intense animations and with much more crappier UI. It, that's Duel Links, in in short. Jesus, I mean, I've never heard of Duel Links. Uh, well, oh, wait, no, I have, but I've never seen any gameplay of it. But I don't even know what it's uh, called. Re recently, I have, and I'm disappointed heavily. <laughs> uh, that that might as well be uh, Konami's new tagline: disappointment. I mean, like, seriously, Konami is in dire need of the management chains, of, like, corporate chains and everything. But, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see your point, I definitely do, it's... Yeah. Konami, for, for our final message on this video, get your shit together, like, <laughs> if you don't, I'm gonna fucking grab a machine gun, like, I'm gonna go come to your fucking Tokyo headquarters. I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill all of you. It, it, uh, don't don't make a threat like that, dude. <laughs> no, it's it, I've been hardcore. Like yeah, I'm just gonna say this right now. Some people can take it take those like super serious. I saw a I don't know if you ever heard of this story, but there was a kid uh, who made a, a uh, joking threat uh, where he was like, I'm gonna go to my school. Shoot up my school, rip out the hearts of the children, and devour them. And he was then then he ended up with J.K. because he was actually joking. He was uh, somebody like dared him to come up with the ev evilest thing that he could ever think of, and so he did. And then uh, somebody saw that, reported it to police, and the kid got arrested. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and he was like uh, ten, eleven or so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just. Saying, like, don't go overboard with, like, exaggerations. I mean, it's obvious you're being hyperbolic, but still. Yeah, I, <laughs> I see your point again. Yeah. Sorry, it's just... I don't yeah, know. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're trying to say. But Not to mention, I don't still. know what set up. Like, some people are super easily offended, because apparently something I said or did in my death profile got it taken down. Oh god, I laugh about it now, but dear lordy, last night whenever I saw that after getting off of work, I was livid. Uh, then I had to sit through a meeting at work while just kind of bottling up my anger. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked. Uh, well, let us know in the comments down below if there are any. I, I, I'm not sure anymore. Um, you know what you what you what you think of this like the whole Konami NAS issue? We're gonna do the same, respond to every single one of your comments. And yeah, any final words? Bye. Bye. There. <laughs> I don't know. There. I, I, I can't. I can't think of anything to really say. Uh, yeah. Other than that, Konami is a complete and total idiot. And thank God, Kojima got away from them. Same. Uh, same. And I just called a company an idiot. No, people who work at the company are idiots. They are. It is. Incorrect. Because <laughs> Konami used to be a great company, but. Yu Gi Oh! wise, they're idiots. Like.
Yeah, well, game wise, there is too. Oh uh, god, they did. They, I don't know how much you know about what they did to, to Kojima and stuff uh, prior to Kojima getting out of there. But I, they, I I haven't heard anything. I, I made a video like a year back. I'll, I'll hunt it down on my channel and send you the link so you can check it out. Uh, I'm not in the mood and I can't remember half of what I said in it. <laughs> Because it was like a year ago, but I go into detail about what happened and everything. I'll just send you a link later, because uh, of what Konami did and everything. Like it was like Nazi level uh, totalitarianism of what they were doing to their uh, uh, their employees. Uh, long story. <laughs> yeah, uh, which we don't have time for, and that's a completely other topic. So, uh, any final words from you? Um, Konami, get your shit together. I, I'm gonna repeat this one last time. And yeah, it's just not a threat, not a threat, not at all. Just, just friendly advice to like Konami in general. And yeah, it, I don't know. I, I'm interested in hearing like what the people in the comments have to say. So yeah, yeah. come at me. <laughs> I, I... Yeah, I will of course have the link to Blade of Chaos's uh, YouTube channel both in the description and in the comments. I'm going to put it in the comments because I know a lot of people don't bother clicking the read more on the description. <laughs> you won't believe how many people are like, where's the link to your uh, Dropbox thing? And I'm like, it's in the description. They're like, where? And I'm like, click the read more. And they're like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you won't believe how many times that's happened. Uh, but right yeah, here. this have been Blade of Chaos and Low Tier for Life. Rambling about random stuff, you know. Mostly you about YG Pro and Dean and Konami yeah. and Ass. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Peace out. And, uh, out. Yeah, I don't know what your whole I mean, thing is. <laughs> or you well, know. yeah, I, I just stopped recording as of now. <laughs> Like that, that's the maze, that, that's the easiest way to end the video. Just stop recording. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! I just realized I have to be at work in like twenty minutes or so. So. Oh god! <laughs> well, I don't want to yeah. you any longer. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like yeah. Well, I'll I'll talk to you later or tomorrow if you're here. Like yeah. maybe. So, you know. See y'all later. Peace out. Have a great day. Uh, later, chaos. Have a good day at work. Peace out. Thank you. Peace.